This is a very interesting uh, discussion coming from Reddit, and it asks, what are the chances that in the future, the Western or specifically the American comic book industry goes extinct and is replaced by an American manga industry complete with big colorless magazines or tabokan? So this is a very interesting question. Now, will the American comic book industry fail? And I think probably not. Because they have a way of making money without you buying their comics. For example, one of the plans that they had was to release a remaking of a Superman classic, which is Superman vs. the Clan. And within it, you have The Message. So it's not what the initial comic book was about. No, now it's if you're for borders and you think that people should migrate into America legally, then you're just like the Clan. Uh, the main character is this uh, Chinese immigrant, and she's just like Superman because they're both from a different culture, a different world, trying to adapt. And the comic book costs around $9.99. So you'd wonder why on earth is a comic so expensive? Like, who would buy a comic book for $9.99? But if you look at who actually wrote the comic and you listen to his TED Talks, he actually says that he wants his comic books in schools, in libraries, and in other public businesses. In other words, is that sweet, sweet taxpayer dollar, which you can get. In other words, if you can convince a school or a library to buy a hundred of those $10 comic books, well, you just made record sales, didn't you? And it doesn't matter how bad your comic book is. It doesn't matter who gets to read it. You already sold it. And this allows the comic book writers to have disdain and disgust towards the customers and to lecture the customers and to treat them like they're evil and to share block lists on Twitter with their customers. That is why you get to see it because they constantly try to bypass the actual customers. In fact, many people don't even know that the person buying the Marvel comic books aren't the actual people. It's not you. It's the comic book store. So the comic book store, they're the actual clients. They're the ones that buy on bulk. They're the ones that are making these deals with the companies. And so far, it has worked out for them. Now, because a lot of comic book stores are closing, maybe that's a different thing. But uh, we don't know until we wait a couple of years to see how the industry works out. However, with that said, there's a lot of comic book creators in America which constantly say that they want their comic books to be propaganda. Like they actively say it in their TED Talks when they get called at universities and they talk about it. So this is why they think that the government is going to constantly subsidize them through direct or indirect means. Like, for example, as I mentioned before, having a government school, like a public school, buying their comics. They're taking money from the taxpayer by doing that. Now... Another thing on why I don't think they will fail is the investors. You, you have a lot of ESG investors, which uh, invest money into companies based on how progressive they are. So the more progressive a company, the more likely it is to get money from the ESG uh, investors, uh, usually from BlackRock. But that is what it is. So will American comics fail? I mean, if they will, it's going to take a lot more. Uh, then a couple of years, it's probably going to take several decades, especially since uh, these comic books are connected with other things that still sell, like, for example, figurines, t-shirts, keychains, movies. So it's in the interest of the mouse uh -huh, to keep having these comic books in order to promote the actual things that's selling. Now, will America manage to make comic books? Uh, highly doubt it. Crunchyroll tried something and it was an atrocity. It's kind of like uh, some progressive women looked at manga and anime and said, like, we want something like that, but progressive. Ended up being one of the worst shows that I had the displeasure of watching. Uh, for example, uh, the Guardians, they're training to fight against an evil in the world. But throughout the entire season, they never mention what that evil is. It's just that they're training. Uh, the personalities of the characters are completely unsufferable. There's absolutely nothing relatable within the show. Uh, they don't stop but talk about sexuality and transgenderism as if that is the most important thing and why people watch anime. So no, I, I don't think like America is going to create anime. And I don't think it should. Uh, here, here's the reason that people like anime. I remember watching Dragon Ball when I was a kid and I noticed characters dying. Like at the time that didn't happen in America. So that like really blew my mind. It's like, oh wow, like the emotions that I felt when I saw Krillin die for the first time, it made me enjoy that show so much because like, I was experiencing 
new emotions that I would never experienced by watching Batman or by watching any American Western cartoon. And then there were some jokes, like, for example, there's this uh, scene where Goku is taking a piss on a tree. And it turns out that there was a ninja hiding behind the tree and Goku pissed on his leg. And that was, like, hilarious. But again, like, that type of joke would never appear in America. So it was just simply because they were open to new things, like, th their creativity knew no bounds. And, and they were able to make jokes that i never seen before. Uh, and they were able to make plot lines that I've never even thought about. It's possible in making it a cartoon. And that's what attracted me to that. And there's another problem with, like, American comics. Almost every single one of them is about superheroes. I mean, the most popular one. Because I know there's some independent comic book writers that are doing other things besides superheroes. But when you look at anime and manga, it's such a diverse genre. I mean, you have things like Death Note, which is about... Um, a criminal investigation with supernatural elements. You have the shonen genre, which is just, you know, kind of like superheroes beating each other up. But then you have, like, such random things that you wouldn't even think about that would make for a good story. Like, for example, here's a comic book that's interesting. I know it should, shouldn't call it comic book, right? It's, like, black and white. So it's not kind of... But apparently, like, there's this succubus in hell, and... She is not a good succubus because she's actually like a good girl, like like she behaves properly, and because she's in hell, that is considered inappropriate behavior. So her parents make her live with an incel, and you can still like the incel going um, a succubus, so you suck the life force out of people, and she's like yes, and the incel is like oh my god, please don't do perverted things to me, and the succubus is like foo foo foo, uh, that's not going to happen because I'm a delinquent succubus. I never do lewd things. And the guy is like, please return from whence you came. So it's comedy, right? It's lighthearted. It's supposed to make people laugh. It doesn't try to fix the world. It's not like some overwhelming message. And by the way, it's not hentai. Like, it's, it's just like, there's no lewd things in it. It's just like jokes over jokes over jokes. I mean, it's lighthearted. But, but it is what it is. And, and, and unless America... And my point is that it's different. I mean, you may not like it, but it's different. Like, you have so many options to choose. There are so many stories. There are so many universes that it's almost impossible you won't find something you like. You, you can go from something political, like Attack on Titan, uh, to something completely hilarious, like um, that chick who got reincarnated as a spider. I, but in America, no, everything has to be with the message and everything has to be about superheroes. And it's boring. It's been done. Like, there is nothing you can do. In fact... In order to jump the, the hundredth shark, they're going to kill the Justice League again. So I'm going to talk about that in a bit. But uh, yeah, watch my next video so we can talk about them planning to kill the Justice League. I, I'm pretty sure that is very exciting and everyone is lining up to see how they're going to do that. Let me know what you think and I'll see you guys in the comment section. Take care.